Ah yes, Clash of Clans. Ever since it's existed, many companies have tried to cash in on the success of the game. Some do it right, and some are just hilarious. So today on part two, yes, we made one of these a few months ago, we're gonna be taking a look at some of these clones and seeing if they're any good. Let's check it out. King of Clans. I don't even know where to start. So when I opened the game, the loading screen was all right. Then we start off with some cheesy lore from a king. You know what happens next? Do I get to play? No, I get an ad. It's been 30 seconds and 20 of that was the loading screen. How the f Jesus Christ. Some goblins come to attack our village and I'm just instructed to build a cannon. It says to position it in the center of the land, except I can't move it. I was clicking it like a dumbass until I realized it's just not clickable. So I hit continue. As the incredibly unique story develops, I finally get to attack those pesky goblins with my troops. Except my troops turned out to be blind sword slinging idiots. What the hell are you hitting? You're hitting each other. <laughs> oh God. I'm not gonna lie, I was having a little bit of fun with how bad the game was. Also, it's worth mentioning that the game also uses a lot of sounds from Clash of Clans, which is incredibly illegal, and I have no idea how it's still on the App Store. I usually use my iPad, but this time I had to use the Android tablet because this game was only available on Android, and I couldn't figure out how to record the audio while streaming it to my MacBook. Yeah, so here's a clip from my camera. Anyways, when I went home, I got another ad. It's literally been two minutes since the last ad. I still wanted to play though, because I wanted to finish the tutorial. Ugh, what happened to her? <laughs> I can't with this game. What the hell is that? I'm just gonna pretend that she's not there. So anyways, I continued along placing the buildings that asked me to. I got an ad every minute, which was extremely annoying, but it's whatever. Train some troops one by one because holding the button apparently didn't work and then I got a Clash Royale ad. <laughs> what? I kept playing, more glitches, more ads, and it finally looked like I was done with the tutorial. I did a bit of exploring, but to be honest, there wasn't much to explore other than the shop. You could only attack and train troops. None of the other buttons did anything. Speaking of buttons though, they're also using assets from Clash of Clans, like pictures. Yes, that's the same trophy icon, gold, and elixir. They just changed the color of it. There's a lot of stuff like this throughout the entire game. I also couldn't tap or move half the buildings in my base, which ruined the entire point of the game. <laughs> Anyways, I think I've been reviewing this one for too long. The last thing I did was go into a battle and my troops just stood there. I, <laughs> never mind. One out of 10, let's move on. Castle Clash. This is one of the more established Clash of Clans clones because it's been out since like 2013. I see a lot of people praising this game for being vastly different and being a genuine competitor. <laughs> people like this game. So I decided to try it out and give it my own opinion. I don't think you'll like it, so if you enjoy this game, go watch Mickey's Clubhouse or some shit. So the game felt way too familiar, but incredibly bloated at the same time. Look, you ever just played a game that has way too many unnecessary features? Yeah, this is one of them. The tutorial was just throwing too many things at my face and I, I just couldn't keep up and I couldn't bother to read anyways. It's pretty much Clash of Clans. In fact, when this game came out, it was almost a near perfect copy of Clash of Clans, but of course, they've had years to change the looks, the gameplay, and add more features, and it's evolved into whatever this is today. You've probably noticed I've been avoiding talking about the experience of playing, and it's just that the game's boring with a ton of features that we've seen a million times in other games. I think it speaks for itself. Also, why is there like 20 of these games? This company, IGG, does the exact thing with many other games. They upload the same sh** like 20 times and people keep downloading them. I don't know. I don't understand why people like this game. There is one thing I enjoyed though. Global chats. Of course, I had to do it. Yeah, it turned out I can't chat unless I linked an account. <laughs> 3 out of 10. Clash of Avengers. 
So I started playing this game as I normally would when reviewing these. I thought it was going to be a hilarious game to review because I looked at the Google Play images and it looked like Clash of Clans. But then I realized the game felt way too familiar. Like yes, Clash of Clans, but I felt like I had played this exact game. Because I did. It turns out the developer of this game has uploaded the exact game under different names and under different developers. And it's not just two or three of them, it's like 20. My respect for Thanos is at an astonishing high right now. I checked this same game out in my last video and it was under the name Clash of Zombies. How are they getting away with this? Anyways, I wasn't going to review the same game twice so I moved on to the next one. One out of 10. Heroes Mobile World War Z. All right. Looked interesting, so I booted it up, and oh my god, it's the same game! I basically just proved my point. <laughs> I swear to god, they look like two different games on the App Store. See, this is what I was talking about. Different developer, different logo, same game. It's the same sh just different air freshener. One out of ten. Empire at War, Battle of Nations. Okay, for some reason, it asked me if I would allow access to my, uh, pictures? No. No, why would you even need that? Anyways, the game downloaded some files, nothing out of the ordinary. A lot of games do that. I gotta say though, a lot of these graphics reminded me of the old Boom Beach. So yeah, it, it felt a little comforting. I continued on with the tutorial, did my first battle, and uh, yes, it's one of those games where I get an advertisement every few minute. Gotta make money somehow, eh? Just throw an ad after every match and no biggie. You know, one thing I noticed is the game felt very empty as well. Like the grass was such a flat green with very little patterns, I could probably use it as a green screen. As far as I can tell though, nothing was copied image wise, but sounds? Yeah. I noticed a few similar sounds and honestly, I don't know why they thought nobody would notice. Like we. We're not stupid. The deploy sound is literally archers. After going home from a battle, you can hear what sounds like a random spell factory. Like, why? And then this defense I was attacking made a minor sound. It's not even a... <laughs> why? They just use random sounds throughout the game and it made zero sense. Like, the sounds could have been linked to the appropriate buildings, but no, just throw random sounds from Clash of Clans as you're playing. <laughs> Apart from the emptiness and straight up stealing, the game was just boring. There was nothing to do other than build a base and attack. And I know Clash of Clans started out the same way, but that was in 2012. That shit was impressive back then. <laughs> Overall, the game was bad, but we've seen worse. So uh, two out of 10. Now before we get into the last one, I wanted to mention this game right here, Raid of Dino. It's actually not available to play because they took it off the App Store, but it was such a... <laughs> it was such an exact copy of Clash of Clans, I really wanted you guys to see this one. I tried to download like a private server for it because I know sometimes games have private servers and you can still download it after it's been removed, but yeah, I couldn't find one. So I'll just show you guys pictures and <laughs> yeah. It would have been fun to try, but I can't. Hero Sky. Okay, I gave this one a shot because it looked a bit too familiar to Clash of Clans. Like, you could just tell where the inspiration came from, so I downloaded it and it's actually not that bad. Like, it's not a good game, but I've seen way worse ripoffs. You start off by attacking a base and then you go home to your village that has already kind of started without you, so it's kind of sus. Actually, let me not say that, that's kind of cringe. This game though has this hero system where you summon heroes and use them in battle, blah blah, nothing we haven't seen a million times in games by now. There was also some kind of story, but honestly I didn't really read. I was just trying to play the goddamn game. I think the problem with this game is just that it provided nothing unique for the player. There's literally zero reasons to play. It's like a mix of Clash of Clans and Raid Shadow Legends and somehow I managed to tolerate it for 9 minutes. It's just boring, I'm sorry. Nonetheless, I took a look around the game, clicking on everything, and although the graphics are decent for some items, it's just Clash of Clans. There's nothing original. I couldn't really bother playing this one more because of how bored I got, so uh, three out of 10. 
So guys, I think that should be it. I had a lot of fun in this video. I did not expect to review such horrible games like some of these on the list or just straight out sh But yeah, I had a lot of fun. If you guys want to watch part one, it should be on the screen right now or you can click the link down below and uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace!